This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason County Public Health and Human Services Prevention Education Partners Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, helping provide prescription drug kickback boxes in Mason County and providing lockable bags for your prescription drugs, cannabis, and vape products. Mason County PUD 3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Mason County PUD number one, Washington State's first public utility district, providing safe, reliable, and valued utility services since 1934. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to High Climber Field on the campus of Shelton High School in Shelton, Washington. Today, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, continues coverage of high school spring sports with an Evergreen Conference baseball game featuring the Shelton High Climbers and the Aberdeen Bobcats. My name is Diedrich Allen, and joining me for this broadcast is Jerry Apple. How you doing, Diedrich? I'm glad to be back. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. It feels like a long, long time. Shelton is two and four overall, one and two in the conference. The High Climbers are coming off yesterday's one to nothing nine inning win over Aberdeen. The Climbers lost to Aloha, uh, six to two Friday. Dropped two games to Tumwater last week, two to one and nine to nothing. Lost to Olympic on March 16th and opened the season with a one to nothing win over Alma. The Bobcats are three and three on the season, one and three in Evco play. Prior to yesterday's loss, Aberdeen lost to Elma 5-3. Split two games with Centralia winning 8-5 a week ago, but losing to the Tigers 9-8 on March 19th. They knocked around Hoquiam 16-3 and uh, slipped by Franklin 7-6 uh, to, to open the season. Shelton has a five-game win streak over Aberdeen. The last Bobcat win over the High Climbers was 14-2 on April 21st, 2021. So not too long ago, but uh, been a few games. So coming up, Jerry, we'll get you the batting orders in the lineups. And, of course, we have the first pitch. It's Evergreen Conference Baseball, the Aberdeen Bobcats at the Shelton High Climbers on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Back in a moment. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. And we're back here at High Climber Field. The Bobcats and the High Climbers getting ready to take the field. They did this yesterday with a one nothing win for the High Climbers. And you want to know something? The High Climbers were the visitor team on their own field yesterday. <laughs> Did you know that, Jerry? I didn't think you knew that. Jerry's got the lineup, so let's go for it. Okay, starting off with the Aberdeen Bobcats under uh, Coach uh, Lane Bruner. Leading off will be number one, Baba Jones. He's playing center field. Uh, batting second is number 18, the left fielder, Trevin Ramos. Batting third, number 99, Aiden Baker playing first. Batting fourth, cleanup, the shortstop, number 20, Hunter Eisel. Batting fifth, the catcher, number nine, Charlie Ansage. Uh, batting sixth, the pitcher, number seven, Baylor Ainsworth. Batting seventh, number 22, the third baseman, Chad Fretz. Batting eighth, number 17, the left fielder, Mylon Bruner. And batting ninth for the Bobcats at second base, number 24, Ethan LaRock. And now your starters for the high climbers. Uh, under Coach Trevor Cahoon, 
Uh, batting first, number 13, the shortstop, Wyatt Wagner. Batting second, number 22, Carl Turnbow. Batting third, the pitcher, number 30, Austin Williams. Batting cleanup, number 44, the third baseman, Matt Carlton. Batting uh, fifth, number 31, the first baseman, uh, Brady Rhodes. Batting sixth, number two, the catcher, Jax Ward. Batting seventh, the left fielder, number three, Brad Evelyn. Batting eighth, uh, the right fielder, number 20, Michael Carlson. And batting ninth, the center fielder, number 27, Colton Fisk. Well, thank you, Jerry. I wanted to throw something out there before I forget. Um, if I read it right, Carl Turnbow, he was two for three yesterday. Those were his first varsity hits uh, of his career. Well, so, congratulations. Yeah, so good job for uh, Turnbow. Uh, we are moments away from the first pitch. We'll step aside, and we'll be back with that first pitch in a moment on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Hi folks, Steve McAllen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-96. 70 extension 400 Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. And we are back here at High Climber Field. Diedrich Allen and uh, Jerry Apple getting ready for some uh, baseball. <laughs> baseball, baseball, baseball. Uh, as Jerry mentioned, uh, on the uh, mound today is Austin Williams. And Austin did pitch a, an inning yesterday. Uh, no runs, no hits, no walks, and two strikeouts. And he got the save. And he got the save, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was trying to go back through the. Uh, through so it the went recap. nine innings. It went nine innings. Yes, two oh. extra yesterday. So. Okay. It'll be interesting to see how this one uh, comes out. Uh, well, it's going to be a close game. We know that. Well, well we can only hope, right? So uh, yeah, Williams into his uh, warm-ups here. Let me get. Uh, yeah. Interesting thing about Austin, I was asking uh, a couple of the coaches, how fast yeah. do they throw? Right. Austin top speed is about 84 miles per hour. Okay. Mac can get up to 86 miles okay. per hour. Right. Okay. Hmm. Sure, it looks a lot faster than that when you're sitting back here behind <laughs> yeah. the home plate. And I can only imagine what it's like uh, as a batter. So Bubba Jones will lead things off for Bob, uh, for the Bobcats. He was two for three yesterday, had a walk. Okay. So. so it's just, uh, so far, you know, it was kind of raining off and on most of the day. 
It was a little wet getting up here, but the sun is out, and we're happy about that. The tent is up here, so we're not going to get wet, hopefully, yeah. unless the wind blows it in. Most of the rain was this morning, so that was good. And uh, I looked at the forecast for this afternoon, and I don't want to jinx it, but they <laughs> said it would be okay. All right. So Bubba Jones. I knew a Bubba in high school. <laughs> Doesn't, didn't everybody know a Bubba in high school? Yeah. So the first pitch is in there. A little high and inside for ball one. Next pitch. That's ball two. Just a... Yeah, missed that corner just yeah, barely, just yeah. Just barely. I think it might have been a little bit high or a little bit, yeah, I don't know. The location was there. Oh, ball three. So three balls and no strikes. Leadoff batter of uh, Jones. Here's the next pitch on the way. There's a strike on the opposite corner on the outside. So three and one. Lead on fatter for the Bobcat swing and a ground ball, chopper. It's gonna be gloved there by uh, Wagner. Wagner throws it over to first and so just offline and Jones is safe at first base. Gonna give him a single on that. That was a slow roller. And now up is your uh, left fielder, number 18, Travis, Trevin Ramos. Ramos, let's see, what did he do yesterday? He was 0 for three. So one on, nobody out for the uh, for the Bobcats to throw over to first base. Trevin showing a bat, a bunny, wanting a bunt. Into for the first pitch, shows that bunt, pulls it back, and it's going to be lowered in the turf. Playing a little small ball, trying to advance the runner. Get started early, I guess. So here's the 1-0. Uh, -oh. That one's bunted up the uh, first base line. Williams will glove it over and uh, hand it off to, uh, J uh, sorry, Rose. Rose will tag the runner out. That's one away, but on the play, uh, Jones will make his way to second. That was a good play by Brady Rhodes. At the last moment, he realized uh, he needed to get back to cover his base. Right. And now up is uh, your third hitter, number 99, your first baseman, Aiden Baker. And Baker was one for four yesterday. Pitch on the way, that's gonna sink in there for strike one called. Oh, it looked really high coming in, Jerry, from my angle, and then it just sunk into that, uh, in that zone. Strike zone, that is. One on, one out, runner at second base, pitch on the way, swing, and that one's fouled just over Jerry's head. No, it bounced in front of me. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a screen from bounce in front of you. <laughs> so that's uh, 0 and 2. Okay, we're already being silly today, I don't know. Bubba Jones on uh, second base in scoring position for the Bobcats. Here's the 0-2 to Baker inside. That one's gonna get away from uh, Ward, so Jones is gonna head to uh, uh, hit the third base. So one out and one on runner over there at uh, third base. Then it's Bubba Jones. Batter is Baker. He hit him on the outside corner for strike three and out to number two. That was not, the crowd not happy with that. Uh, the Aberdeen fans, I should say, are not happy with that. And now up is your cleanup hitter, the shortstop, number 20, Hunter Eisel. Now, Eisel had a game. Uh, he, oh, boy, he blasts the first pitch out to center field. It's going to drop in for base hit. One run will come in to score. That's Jones. And that's a one pitch and one on and one run in. Uh, you heard you. Yeah, well, he had a, he didn't even get it out. He was three for three at a double and a walk. And now up is your fifth hitter, and this is number nine, Charlie Ansage, your catcher. Doesn't even give me a chance to update everything, Jerry. Okay, there we go. So two out, one in, one on. Eisel over there at first base, and Ensich was one for three yesterday. 
First pitch to him, swing and a fly ball. It's gonna drop in to right field for a base hit. So there's runners in first and second for the Bobcats here. Two out, one in. And that's the third single for the Bobcats. And now up is your pitcher, number seven, Baylor Ainsworth. Ainsworth was 0 for 4 yesterday. We do have a courtesy runner. That'll be for uh, Ansich, and that'll be number eight, Sam uh, Schreiber. Schreiber, yeah. Schreiber or Schreiber? I think it's Schreiber. So one in, two on, two out for the Bobcats. One run is on the board, pitch on the way. That's going to be a strike one. He's sure crowding that plate, isn't he? He's in there really tight on the box. Here's the uh, pitch on the way. Fly ball, that one is going to be right into the glove of Carlson out there, and that'll end the inning. But uh, the Bobcats get one. Leave two. We head to the bottom of the frame. One nothing. Aberdeen uh, with the lead early. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Bottom of the first we go, one nothing Aberdeen. Yeah, the Bobcats uh, in the top of the first had one run on three hits, left two on, no errors. And now leading off for the high climbers is the shortstop, number 13, Wyatt Wagner. And Wyatt was one for five yesterday. A little hot there, don't I? Okay. So Ingsworth is the pitcher for the uh, Bobcats. And the catcher, yeah, of course, is uh, Charlie Hensich. So Wagner will step in. Wait for the first pitch from, uh, from Ingsworth. First pitch is in there for a strike. So step back in as uh, Wagner. Here's the 0-1. One. It's gonna be low, ball one, one and one. Wagner waiting for the 1-1 uh, pitch. Swing, and that'll be a line drive right into the glove of LaRock. He bobbled it, it rolls into center field, and Wagner's on with a leadoff single. And now up is your second hitter, the second baseman, number 22, Carl Turnbull. And we did mention it just before the beginning of the game. Uh, he was two for three yesterday. Had an RBI and walked once. And his first two hits. Right? <coughs> I'm thinking probably his first RBI, but we didn't talk about that. And Carl Turnbow is also trying to move the batter over. Took ball one on the first pitch. Waiting for the next one from Ainsworth. Pitch on the way shows bunt. He'll bunt that one up the first base line. He's going to 
Well, it's going to be scooped up by Ainsworth, throw it over to Baker for the out there, but on the play, Wagner makes it over to uh, second base. Well, Carl Turnbow did his job there by advancing the runner to scoring position. Now up is your third hitter, the pitcher, number 30, Austin Williams. And Austin yesterday, two for five. That's all, <laughs> two for five. Jerry looked at me like I needed to say more, but I don't know no, what else no, to you're say. <laughs> great. First pitch to Williams is a strike. Wagner over there at second base, one out for the high climbers, one nothing, Aberdeen. Wagner takes his lead at second. Williams waits for the pitch from Ainsworth. Pitch on the way, swing and a ground ball right to the Ainsworth. He'll glove it, turn around and throw it over to Baker for the out there on the play. Wagner makes his way over to uh, third base and that's uh, two away now for the uh, high climbers. And now up is your uh a uh, cleanup hitter, number 44, the third baseman, Matt Carlton, who had a great game yesterday as pitcher. Uh, uh, Eight innings, no runs, seven hits, two walks, 14 strikeouts. Wow. At the plate, he was one for five. And he'll swing at the first pitch. That one's going to drop in. That should be fair right up the uh, line there. Coming in to tie the game is uh, Wagner. And sliding into second is uh, Carlton. So 1-1. First extra base hit of the game, and that was by Matt Carlton. He gets, give him credit for an RBI. And now up is your first baseman, a fifth hitter, a number 31, Brady Rhodes. Brady was uh, two for four yesterday. So in, uh, one in, two out, one on for the high climbers here. Tie ball game at one. Bottom of the first. Pitch on the way to Rhodes. He'll swing and he'll ground that one uh, foul up the third baseline. As we mentioned before, uh, Matt Carlton has got a scholarship to go uh, to PLU and play baseball. Good for him. Always nice to hear those good stories. That is a uh, great story. Yeah. That is a great story. So here's Rhodes waiting for the 0-1 from Ainsworth. Pitch in there. Just a bit low for ball one, one and one to Rhodes. Again, you got Carlton over there at uh, second base. Two out, one in for the climbers here, tying the ball game at one. Here's the one one to Rhodes. Low one outside for ball two, so two and one. Steps in, here's the pitch, fastball, fly ball. Infield, coming from first base is gonna be Baker. He'll, he'll run over there by the mound and grab it for the out. And that'll do it for the uh, high climbers here in their half of the first, but they tie it up at one. We head to the second. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. We all depend on them. For medical emergencies, to keep our highways safe, and to get back on the road. And emergency responders depend on us to watch for them, to slow down and move over. We do it for the people out there taking the risks while helping others and the people who care about them because most of us agree that we all share a responsibility for safety on our roads. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, Share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. And we head to the uh Top of the second inning, 1-1 one, one ball game. Aberdeen and, and Shelton, Aberdeen coming up. Yeah, and, and the uh, high climbers in the bottom of the first had one run on two hits. Uh, there was no errors by the Bobcats, and one uh, runner was left on base for the Shelton high climbers. Leading off will be number 22, the third baseman, Chad Fretz. He uh, is uh, seventh in the batting order. 
And, well, he did not. Well, I guess he did not He did not play yesterday. Mm -hmm. At least I don't have any information on him. <laughs> I didn't go deep into the archives for what he did <laughs> this season. I didn't have the time. I'm surprised you get as much done as you do. I, I'm just amazed <laughs> uh, with all the things that you're trying to do well, as long as I don't on spend the website. The, as long as I don't spend the day at the county again. Mm -hmm. I had three meetings at the county yesterday. Yeah. One in the morning, one in the early afternoon, and one at night. <laughs> and so it was a, yeah, interesting, interesting day. Okay, Chad Fretz stepping yeah. in for Fretz. the Bobcats. Let's get back to baseball. First pitch to Fretz is a swing and a fly ball. Center field out there to get it on the run is Evelyn for out number one. One pitch, one out for the Bobcats. So that's supposed to be one out, not two. Sorry, and folks. now up is your left fielder, number 17, Mylon Bruner. I'm assuming that his dad is the coach, Lane. Well, he did play, but he did not bat Kay. yesterday. I think he ran. Probably a courtesy runner. Pitch on the way. To Bruner, tick strike one. There's been a lot of Bruners coming out of Aberdeen. One played for uh, Pittsburgh mm. at tight end. Pitch on the way, inside and low. That's ball one, one and one. Let's get the right numbers up there. Sorry, folks. One, one the count to Bruner as he steps back in. One out, nobody on for the Bobcats here. Top of the second pitch on the way. That's outside and low ball two, two and one. Turner steps back in, waits for the pitch. Pitch on the way from Williams. His swings, and he fouls that one out back into the uh, oh, into the tennis courts behind us. Thought there was a tennis match today. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> and, of course, the girls are playing today, too. Right, playing Aberdeen over on the softball field. There's a swing and a miss by Bruner, and he goes down swinging, so that's out number two for the Cats. That's the second uh, strikeout for Austin Williams, and now up is your second baseman, number 24, Ethan LaRock. And LaRock, uh, 0 for 3 yesterday. Okay. You know, Jerry could take my thunder. He's got the same sheet I do. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants to balance it out. Here's first pitch to LaRock. He's swinging. He misses for strike one. Feel free to do that, Jerry, if you want to. Okay. Especially when I'm pushing buttons over here. All right. Give you more responsibility over there. Sure. Next pitch is high. I don't know if I can take on that much responsibility. Yeah, you, know, you got the book. You got the. I think the, I can. Yeah, I think you can. You can handle it. Okay. Okay. You can handle it. I can <laughs> handle this. You can handle that. Okay. Here's the one one. Did he get that one? Nope. He, that's a ball too. So two yeah. and one. Checked his swing there. I was. I don't even think he he was gonna go, and then he just stepped away. Next pitch, high. That one's going to hit one of the cameras on the backstop. <laughs> Hopefully not yours. No, no. Well, <laughs> didn't even move. There's we did have one hit uh, last game, didn't we? No. Or got uh, wet. Got yeah. wet. Well, not, well, yeah, there was a softball game. But there's a walk. There's a uh, two-out walk. And now up is number one, the center fielder, your leadoff hitter, Bubba Jones. He scored the lone run for Bobcats in the first inning uh, by way of a single. So two out, one on for the Cats as Jones steps back in. The Rock takes his lead over there at first base. First pitch from Williams. Hit outside for ball one. LaRock again takes his lead. Pitch on the way. High for ball two. So 2-0 two and oh to Bubba Jones with two out, one on. Next pitch. Eh, it's a bit outside. A little high, I guess, more than outside. So that's ball three. So three balls, no strikes. Here's pitch on the way. You knew that was going to be a strike. That's called strike one. So three and one. Maybe it did turn off somebody's camera over here. <laughs> Here's a pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball. That's heading to right field high. Back near the track to grab it is Carlson, and that will do it for the Bobcats here in their half of the first. 
They leave one out there. We head to the bottom of the frame. Still 1-1. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Hi folks, Steve McAllen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. Bottom of the second inning. Jerry? Yeah, leading off will be uh, number two, the catcher, Jax Ward. Okay, what do you got there? Oh, for uh, two. He did actually pitch on Friday. <laughs> oh, it's always Just nice to watch my old alma mater come up here and, and play the high climbers. At least you're not wearing your uh, Aberdeen t shirt this time. No, nah, I don't think it'd be a good idea. No. Pitch on the way. Ward will. Uh, Hit a fly ball, take her out to get it out of just in the grass out there and right. And that's a one pitch and one out for the high climbers. And now up is number three, the left fielder, Brad Evelyn. And Brad, one for three, walked uh, once and scored a run. Scored oh. the only run. Let's go, right? <laughs> and that was in the ninth inning? Yes. Okay, <laughs> had to be, okay. Yeah. Pitch on the way, and it's outside for ball one. Only assuming we were not, we didn't get the pleasure of being here. Yeah. Like I said, I was at the county all day. Rather be here. <laughs> no right. offense to the county or anything, but no, I'd rather be here. Next pitch. Evelyn reached for that one, and that's going to be strike one, one, and one. One out, nobody on for the high climbers here. One, one ball game. We're in the bottom of the second inning. We always enjoy watching the players and and giving recognition to as many people as we can. We do our best. Here's the pitch, swing and a ground ball. That's going to be scooped up by Eisel. He'll throw it over to first. Oh, just. Boy, that was close. Boy, was that close. <laughs> Evelyn almost beat that out, but just about a half a step behind that is going to be out number two for the climbers. And now up, your third hitter of this inning, number 20, the right fielder, Michael Carlson. And let's see what did Michael do. You know what? He's not even on the sheet here. Mm. Oh, there he is. Oh, for one. He's wearing a different number. <laughs> Take strike one. Okay. I get confused. They Sometimes they throw different numbers out there. They and just want to confuse just, you. Yeah, you know. Well, it's probably been 20. It just wasn't updated on the roster sheet. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So in two. Two out, nobody on. Just hearing a lot of noise coming from the softball field there, Jerry. Uh, oh. I see five to nothing. Yeah, it looks like the Aberdeen Bobcats are on top. There's a pitch that's high and inside. So one and two, I think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, five to nothing. We'll have a complete recap of that game later tonight or tomorrow morning. Pitch on the way. Swing and a check swing, actually. They can say he went. And that'll do it for the uh, high climbers here in uh, their half of the second. We head to the third. 1-1. One, one. I'm an ex-drug dealer, and I'll be your sub today. Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. A lethal dose is in here. Who gets it, I won't know. It's cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. The sad reality is fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. More kitchen now. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. 
The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. And we're back here for the third inning. That was really a good ad. Anything we can do to uh, let people know the dangers of fentanyl, yeah. that is good. Yeah, it's starting to really creep in more and more into the schools. So anything we can do to bring the awareness. I agree. It's not good. It's just not good. Okay. Number uh, 18, Trevin Ramos is up, the left fielder. He uh, grounded out to the uh, pitcher back in the first. And the first pitch was a ball. Next pitch from Williams. Ramos is inside for ball two, so two and oh. Looks like it might start raining here any moment, Jerry. I'm trying not to say anything. It's starting to rain right now. <laughs> Jerry, pitch out of the way. That'll be, uh, oh, it's coming out hard. Wow. That just came up all of a sudden, man. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's going to come under our tent and join us in our makeshift uh, <laughs> broadcast booth. There's strike one called. So three and one to Ramos. The wind has shifted in from behind now. Pitch on the way. Swing and a line drive right up the middle. It's going to be scooped up there by Wagner. Throw over to Rhodes at first. And that's out number one for the Bobcats. Nice play. By Wyatt Wagner. And now up is your, uh, the first baseman, number 99, Aiden Baker. He struck out back in the first inning. 0 for 1. Water coming in on my equipment. Yeah, I see that. The ground ball right into the glove of Rose. Rose will run over and tap the badge, or the base, I should say. Unassisted, yeah, Brady Rhodes. For out number two. Boy, everything's coming in. I might have to pull out a different. And now up, your third uh, hitter this inning, the shortstop number 20, Hunter Eisel. Uh, Hunter had a single and had the uh, lone RBI back in the first. I'm going to have to move this back, Jerry. This okay. is there's a fly ball. Eisel drops it right into the glove of Eveland, and that'll do it for the Bobcats here in their half of the top of the third. We head to the bottom. We'll be right back. It's Mason Web TV, powered by HGC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a down wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a down line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Yeah, Jerry's inviting everybody in. As we head to the downpour, that's getting everything wet, and I got the tent on, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> so, third inning. Did I get everything updated here? I did not. Leading off will be uh, number 27, the center fielder, Colton Fisk. Okay. Sorry, folks, just trying to avoid water and uh, get back to baseball. As the first pitch to Fisk is low for ball one. You can hear the uh, rain come down on the, <laughs> on the tent. And it wasn't going to rain. Next pitch to Fitz. Kill a foul. That one out of play over everybody's head. For so second. much for the forecast. Well, you know, I've learned not to trust Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I learned that last year. I love it. I love it. Here's the one one to Fisk. 
Strike two called. I'm never going to let him live that down. He told me last year, it's not going to rain, don't worry about it. Don't bring the tin out. And it was like this. So, yeah. Never going to listen to him again. So one ball, two strikes to Fisk. Pitch on the way. Inside, just a bit inside for ball two. It's two and two. Lead off batter for the high climbers here in the third inning, bottom of the third. 1-1 one, one is her score. Rain coming down pretty hard right now. Pitch on the low. That one slipped out of Ainsworth's hand, clearly. <laughs> it's almost like he was throwing it to me, Jerry. <laughs> so that uh, brings the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Just need a downpour to stop. It's, all, it's just going to stop. It's slowing it's down slowing a little down. bit. It's down. It's just going to pass through here. Here's the pitch on the way. Boy, that one came right back in my eyes. <laughs> Fouled <laughs> off. Wow. Glad that uh, fence was there. Diedrich is awake now. Oh, yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun right there. Yes, slow it down. Thank goodness. If it wasn't for the fence, I'd be headed to the hospital. Here's the uh, ground ball right back to the pitcher. He'll uh, take a few steps towards first and throw it to Baker, and that is going to be out Number one for the high climbers. And now up is your leadoff hitter, uh, Wyatt Wagner, uh, the shortstop, number 13. He scored the lone run for the high climbers back in the first, and he had a single. So he'll step in. Yeah, see, it, it just, you know, it started fast and ended quick. Pitch on the way, and that one is going to skip all the way to the backstop here for ball one. So it went away as quickly as it started, Jerry. The rain did. Now we'll have the sun come out, right? Sure. Yeah. And we are working with uh, electricity today, so we have to be aware of that. There's a pitch on the way for ball two. But we're now seeing some blue sky coming in. Yeah. Well, over our heads. But if you look to over to the softball field, Jerry, it doesn't look too good. Mm. That's where it comes from. Here is the 2-0. A little bunt up the third baseline, picked up by the catcher. Throw to first, and uh, Wagner tried to dive, but couldn't get there. That was a nice throw by the catcher, Ansich. So there's a two away for the uh, high climbers, and here is Carl Turnbow. Yeah, he um, uh, grounded out to the uh, first baseman back in the first, 0 for 1. First pitch in there for a ball. Oh, don't have to change anything because they didn't clear it out. So Turnbow will step back in. Waiting for the 1-0. Pitch on the way. Fast ball. Low. Ball two. Two now. Two out. Nobody on for the high climbers here. 1-1 one, one ball game. Bottom of the third inning. Carl Turnbow at bat for the high climbers. So it's swing and he'll hit a fly ball. Going out to uh, get it is Eisel. Gloves it over his head and that'll do it for the high climbers here in their half of the third. We head to the fourth, still 1-1. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. Hi folks, Dietrich Allen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. And we're back for the fourth inning of play. 
Yeah, leading off will be uh, the catcher, number nine, Charlie Ansich. Uh He's one for one, had a single back in the uh, first uh, inning. Well, I'm still drying things out here, Jerry. I was very impressed with his throw to first in the last inning. Oh, yeah, after picking it up off the turf. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to do, especially if you're an old man like us. <laughs> First pitch, <laughs> it's just low. Just, just missed that corner. Oh, we got the corner, but just a little low. A little bit low. Looking at the knees, not the ankles. Here's the pitch <laughs> on the way. Swing, and that one's going to be a rolling foul, third baseline. Go one and one. I want to recognize Austin for not only his pitching, but uh, getting accepted to the University of Washington. Uh, on so. his grades. Not on a scholarship for athletics, but on his grades and his I know it. student. Three nine, yeah. something like that. Something like that. Just huge. It's just There's a wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, so called strike two. So one and two, Tansich. Proud parents. It should be. We always hear about the bad stuff going on. We don't hear about. There's the good a lot stuff. of good stuff. Yeah. Pitch on the way. That one's going to be fouled over everybody's head out of play. And the count remains one ball, two strikes to Ansich. Pitch on the way, swing, and that's a ground ball. Carlton is going to scoop it up from third base. Throw over to Rose at first, and that's out number one. That pitcher arm. Yeah, um, I was watching that in the, in the warm ups, Jerry, just uh, seeing how fast he gets that ball. Yeah. Now up is your pitcher, number seven, Baylor Ainsworth. He uh, flew out to the second baseman back in the first. First pitch to Ainsworth. It's going to be low for ball one. So one out, nobody on. Pitch on the way, and it's going to be a little bit outside for ball two. Well, it's a little bit low. Starting to turn into a nice pitcher's duel. Fourth inning to play. Here's the pitch on the way. That's going to be inside for ball three. So three and zero. Oh. Three hits so far for the Bobcats, and two hits for the uh, high climbers. I'm blocking somebody's view. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here's the pitch on the way. It's going to be a strike on the outside corner for uh, strike one. So three balls and one strike. One out. Nobody on for the Bobcats here. Top of the fourth pitch on the way. Just hit that low corner on the outside. Counts full. Painsworth. Next pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. And Ainsworth goes down swinging. So two down for the Bobcats. And now up is your third baseman, number 22, Chad Fretz. And uh, Chad, in the uh, second inning, flew out to the left fielder. First pitch to him is a swing and a fly ball. Center field on the run out there is, uh, oh. was it, it was a Fisk. Yeah, Fisk ends up grabbing it right in front of Carlson, and that'll end the inning. For the Bobcats, we head to the bottom of the frame. Still 1-1. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. With all the question marks and uncertainty that surrounds today's real estate market, it is nice to know that there is a local team that has the experience with all types of markets to ensure you make a sound decision, whether selling or buying. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has been a staple in the Mason County community for over 40 years. Feel free to reach out to Jeff, Andy, Chrissy, or Laura with any real estate questions that you may have. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a down line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Bottom of the fourth inning, Jerry. One well, run. up is uh, number 30, the pitcher, Austin Williams. Austin has really settled down. 
in the second, third, and fourth inning. He's retired the side, uh, doing a nice job. Uh, no hits in the last three innings. Yeah. High climbers, what, do you have three hits for them or two? And um, Austin is 0 for 1. He has three, he pitched, uh, he has uh, been hit three, three hits off okay. of him, yeah. All right. He's 0 for 1. Waiting for the first pitch, pitch on the way. That's going to be low for ball one. See if he can help himself out here, huh? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Still dabbing up a little bit of uh, moisture from everything here. So here's the 1-0 to Williams outside. A little bit high for ball two. That ball did curve in, but just not enough to get the strike. Right. Here's the 2-0 to Williams for Mainsworth. Pitch on the way, swing, fly ball. That's out there for Bruner to get under it. Yeah, but actually, it's going to be Jones coming from center field to grab that, and that's out number one. It's one of those times you say, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> now up is number 44, the third baseman, Matt Carlton. He had a double in the first hit. He got the one RBI for us, right. for the high climbers. So, Jerry, as a hitter, do you have a, do you go through the same routine every time? I think you should. Oh, and uh, Carlton takes a ball to the thigh. So that gives the high climbers a base runner out there first. I would say yes. Okay. I'm just curious because, you know, I was a horrible hitter, so then I, mm. I can't really talk about it. <laughs> Well, I think I struck out more than any time, anybody else, but. I was not a good hitter until I started playing uh, slow pitch, and the ball was a lot bigger to hit, so okay. it was easier. <laughs> so one out, one on. Pitch to uh, Rhodes. It takes a strike one called. What did Brady do in his last at bat? Yeah, right? sorry about that. He flew out to uh, the uh, first baseman, 0 for 1. So Carlton over at first base, one out. Brady Rhodes, the uh, batter for the high climbers. Pitch on the way. Runner goes. Pitch. Uh, it's a fly ball. That's going to be, oh, great play there. Right by the fence by Walker. He came in and grabbed it for the out in foul territory. And Carlton had already taken off, but he had a trot back. So that's two away for the high climbers. Yeah, now up is your catcher, number two, Jax Ward. He uh, also flew out to the uh, uh, first baseman back in the second inning. Yeah, that was a nice play. He called off the uh, yeah, there were three, uh, catcher. Three, three uh, players right there. And uh, Baker's the one that grabbed it and had the uh, smarts to look towards first base. There's a uh, pitch to uh, Ward. Ward's going to hit a fly ball right in the gap. And <laughs> there's going to be an error out there by Bruner. He didn't think the ball was in his, he thought the ball was in his glove and it rolled out. So there's runners now at first and second for the high You're climbers. You're giving that an air, okay. Well, I mean, he had it in his glove, and he went and went through the motion of throwing yeah. with no ball, and the ball was rolling. I'm, I don't know. Okay. So you know, we got you know two me, I would rather, yeah, I'd rather give uh, Jax the hit, but, you know. So here's Brad Eveland. With runners at first and second for the high climbers, two down. Pitch on the way, swing and a ground ball. That's going to be gloved over there by Fretz. Fretz throws it to first. Oh, it's over the uh, Baker. Baker couldn't glove it. Sliding in for one run is uh, Carlton. Ward heads to second. And Eveland is on first base. You know, I don't even know if it had been a good throw. That it would have been. If, if he would have got him there. Yeah. I'm going to give him a single. Okay. And now up is... Um, this is actually number 19, Jerry. It's uh, Bjorn Jacot. Yeah, and he is batting for Michael Carlson. He was 0 for 1 versus Aloha on Friday. That's the information we have on uh, Jacot. He'll step in. High climbers are leading the 2 to 1. One run is in. Two are on and two are out. Runners at the corners for the high climbers. Jacot waiting for the first pitch to him. And the runner goes, Evelyn, throw to second. Evelyn is sliding, <laughs> to grab onto that second base and hold himself from uh, sliding into center field. And now the high climbers have runners at uh, second and yeah, third. Yeah, two runners in scoring position. It's good. 
And the pitch was a ball, wasn't it? Okay. So one ball, no strikes to Jaycott. Pitch outside, corner strike one called. So one and one to Jaycott. So he's in the lineup for who, Jerry? Uh, Michael Carlson. Okay, so he'll likely be out there in the right field. Yes, sir. But you never know. So Jay Conn is a one and one. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss for strike two. So one ball, two strikes. Two outs. Yeah, two outs, two on, one in. High climbers up two to one right now. Bottom of the fourth inning. Got Evelyn at third and Ward at second. I'm sorry, Evelyn's at second, Ward's at third. There's a swing and a foul off out of play. Count remains, one ball and two strikes. So it's twos and threes that are getting me mixed up, Jerry. <laughs> Evelyn is three, Ward is two, and they're in the opposite positions because the two's on three and the three's on two. <laughs> Am I confusing everybody? Now you get welcome to my world. So here's a one, two to Jaycott. He'll smash one out of play towards the mini dome. Well, Jax is playing uh, the catcher position okay. and on the, in the catcher position and that's the two position. <laughs> yeah, see, okay. That makes sense. He's wearing two. He's placed two. But he's on three. So. <laughs> Who's on first? I'm going to get you back. Yeah, okay. Nobody's on first this right now. My climbers. Pitch on the way. That's going to be low for ball, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're just getting a little silly here. It's all right. We'll get back to real serious baseball now. So two mm. balls, two strikes, two out, two on, one in for the high climbers. Bottom of the fourth inning, two, one. Bjorn Jaycott, the batter for the high climbers. Brad Evelyn at third. Jack Ward at second pitch on the way. Swing, and that one's going to be fouled off. That kind of ricocheted off of a bunch of people there. Jaycott, uh, Ansich, and the home plate umpire all got into that uh, path of that ball. So the count remains two and two with two out and two on. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Psych 3 called, and that'll do it for the high climbers here in the fourth. They do add one. They now lead 2-1. to one. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. We head to the fifth. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-9670, extension 400. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. So we're back here for the fifth inning to play. High Climbers have uh, taken the lead two to one. Yeah, the High Climbers did have one run on one hit. Uh, they left two uh, runners on base. Uh, leading off will be uh, number 17, the left fielder, Mylon Bruner. He's 0 for 1, struck out back in the second. I like that name, Mylon. It's unusual. It's very unusual. But similar, you know? Or maybe not similar, but uh, familiar. That's the word. Myelin. Yeah. Not like Milo, but Myelin. Well, there's a lot of, like I said, there's been a lot of Bruners come up uh, in the Aberdeen area. Well, we're waiting for him to uh, step in as uh, Williams is into his warm-ups a little late. Because coach didn't get out there to help him warm up as uh, Ward was putting on his protective gear after being out on third base. So two to one, high climbers with the lead, Aberdeen at bat. 
and Bruner will lead things off. For the Bobcats, first pitch from Williams. Swing, and he'll foul that one over the backstop for strike one. Yeah, but it wasn't for the first inning, uh, Austin would have a no-hitter. Here's the 0-1 to Bruner. Strike down the middle of the plate. 0-2 to Bruner. Leadoff batter for the Bobcats here in the fifth inning. 2-1, Shelton. Williams will step off. And Bruner will step back in. Waiting for the 0-2. From Williams. Swing and a fly ball. That's going to drop into a center field. Brenner will turn the corner at first and hold up there as uh, Fisk gloves that. And now up is number 24, the second baseman, Ethan LaRock. He uh, got on in the second inning by way of a walk. So one on, nobody out. He shows bunt again, takes a high pitch for ball one. Nothing wrong with trying to advance that runner over, especially when you have no outs. Right, Bruner at first base. Here's the pitch on the way. Another high one, ball two, so two and oh. Bruner at first base. LeBrock the uh, batter, he's got to uh, Two balls, no strikes up. That's strike one called, so two and one. Brenner takes the lead out there. Strike two called to LaRock. So two and two. One on and nobody out. Brenner again at first base. Here's the two two pitch to LaRock. He'll swing and he'll hit one. That's going to drop into the gap. In left field, and the Bobcats has run, have runners at first and uh, second with nobody out. Yeah, two singles in a row now. And now up is your leadoff hitter, uh, Bubba Jones. And Bubba got a single back in the first and scored the lone run for the Bobcats. And then in the uh, second inning, he uh, flew out to the second baseman. So he's one for two. And pitching coach is going to come out and talk to Williams and Ward on the mound. Get everybody on the same page. You have the runners at uh, first and second. Nobody out in a 2-1 ball game. These are important games. You want to get every one of those Evergreen Conference games you can. And even just one loss can uh, throw you out of the running. Yeah, Especially and, here early. And the high climbers have played two really tough games already against Tumwater. Right. Who has dominated the league, I believe, with WF West. In the past, yes. Yeah. I don't know what the current records are yeah, right now. Yeah, but I know Tumwater has always been, well, been yeah. state champions two years ago. Right, right. So, yeah. So, so here we go. You're right, important. Jones steps in. He's got runners at first and second. Nobody out. And he's waiting for the first pitch. From Williams, he'll glance back at second base. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Whew. I think Jones was trying to swing for the fence there. <laughs> Takes strike one, so 0 and 1. Next pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball. That's the center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Here comes Bruner around third. He's going to come in to score. LaRock heading for third. He's going to hold up there. And that's an RBI double for Jones. Tying yeah. the ball game at two. Yeah, he cleared the base. He's got two RBIs there. Oh, did he get another one to come in? No, there's only one coming in, Jerry. Oh, as, okay. As, he uh, stood up. Oh, yeah, okay. He, he stayed there. Yeah, okay, LaRock sorry about that. At, uh, at the third base. So we got two runners in scoring position on third and second. My fault. And the batter is uh, Ramos, and he takes strike one. Anyway, I... Jerry's too busy to writing stuff down in his book. Yeah, Bubba, um, <laughs> Bubba definitely uh, had a nice hit there, nice double. Give him one RBI. That'd be, yeah, Bubba Jones. So Jones is a second, uh, LaRock is a third, and Ramos is the batter. 
Pitch on the way, he'll swing and he'll uh, miss on that one. That's strike two. So yeah, Ramos two. is uh, 0 for 2. You know, that jersey looks really big on him, Jerry, just from the location of the numbers. Room to grow. You know, he's going to call a timeout. Step out and step back in. Again, you got Bubba Jones over there at uh, second base and LaRock at third. Nobody out. And there's a uh, ball one. So one ball, two strikes to Ramos. Pitch on the way, swing and a fly ball. That one's going to drop right there in front of Eveland. Coming in to score and taking the lead is going to be LaRock. And then now the uh, the so Bobcats have runners at the, the corners. So four hits in a row. Um, and uh, give uh, Ramos a RBI. So here's Baker. Still nobody out. And it's a 3-1 ball game. Yeah, and like you said, runners at the corners, huh? Yeah. Okay. Trying to get everything updated here. It's not going the way I want it. So three to two is the score. So might want to put the three on there. There we go. That one's going to be fouled off. And the count is one ball and one strike. Aiden Baker in there trying to try to get another hit. Uh, four hits in a row now by the Bobcats here. Pitch on the way. Runner goes, and uh, Ramos is safe at the second base. No throw there by Ward. You know, don't want to keep another runner in, so two are in here in the inning. Pitch on the way and a ground ball. That's going to go foul. So it makes it uh, to two and two. That is correct. Okay. So two balls, two strikes, two on, two in. Nobody out for Bobcats here in the top of the fifth inning. They lead three to two. Baker is the batter for the Bobcats. Ramos on second. Jones on third. Pitch on the way. That's strike three called. And that's the first out for the Bobcats. So one down. And now up is number 20, Hunter Eisel, the uh, shortstop. And he is one for two, had a single RBI back in the uh, first. So Eisel's hugging that plate, pitch on the way, swings and misses for strike one. So getting runners at second and third, pitch on the way. It's going to be ball one, just a bit low. Austin Williams has four strikeouts so far. And he's working on 72 pitches right now. Swing and a miss on the next one. So one ball, two strikes, one out, two on, two in for the Bobcats here. Top of the fifth inning. They're leading three to two. Pitch on the way. Check swing, and that's going to be a strikeout. That's out number two. And now up is your catcher, number, 90, number nine, Charlie Anzich. Uh, Charlie is one for two, had a single back in the first. He's going to step out, call timeout. Yeah, Jay Cott is out there in right field, Jerry. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah, Jay Cott, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pitch on the way outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes, two out, two on, two in. I don't see anybody warming up for the high climbers. Uh, there is somebody out there, Jerry. There's is a there? ground ball roller up there. Wagner will glove it, throw it over to uh, Rhodes at first, and that'll end the inning. But the uh, Bobcats do the damage, take the lead back. They lead three to two. We head to the bottom of the frame. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Mason County is a very special place. 
When you're looking for sound real estate advice, pick the team that has called Mason County home for five generations. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate is always thrilled to help you buy or sell real estate in our area. Whether it is Hood Canal, Harstein Island, Matlock, Tahuya, South Puget Sound, or Shelton, the Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has the experience you can trust. Remember, when it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take-back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. And we head to the bottom of the uh, fifth inning, three to two. Aberdeen with the lead, Shelton coming up. Now the Bobcats had two runs uh, there in the top of the uh, fifth on four hits. Three singles, one double, and they left two runners on base, no errors. And uh, now leading off uh, for the high climbers here in the bottom of the fifth will be number 27, the center fielder, Colton Fisk. And he is 0 for 1, uh, grounded out to the uh, pitcher uh, back in the uh, third inning. So I don't see any changes out there for the Bobcats. So Fisk will step in, waiting for the first pitch here to lead things off. Pitch on the way. That one, definitely a ball. It kind of looked like he threw it with a screw on it, Jerry. <laughs> so one ball, no strikes to Fisk. Pitch on the way. Strike one called, one and one. Three, two, the score. Aberdeen with the lead. Shelton at bat. Colton Fisk leading things off. Is a one-one. Just a bit high for two and one. So two balls, one strike to the leadoff batter for the high climbers. Here's the pitch inside for ball three. So three and one. To Fisk. Like we said, it was going to be a close game. Yeah. Here's kick in the pitch, swing, and a fly ball. That's going to go out of play behind everybody. So that makes the count fold. Three balls and two strikes. Yeah, I've only seen the managers report to the home umpire once, and that was that one change that right, uh, we made right. by Shelton. Right, for Jaycott, for Carlson. So here's the 3 2 to Fisk. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and Fisk goes down swinging. That's out number one for the high climbers. And now up is number 13, Wyatt Wagner, uh, the shortstop. He is one for two, uh, scored uh, back in the uh, first inning. Uh, like I said, a single, and the last time he. Um, uh, was thrown out by the uh, catcher on that beautiful play by Ansage. Just got it. Yeah. So one out. Nobody on for the high climbers. And Wagner will step in. Wait for the first pitch from Ainsworth. Ainsworth into his uh, kick and the pitch. And there's a fly ball. That is headed to the fence out there at right field. Bruner under it. And it gets away from him. Wagner heading for second. He's got a stand-up double. Oh, he's two for three now. And now up is uh, your second baseman, number 22, Carl Turnbull. He's 0 for two. Flew out to the shortstop in the last inning. So White Wagner over at second base for the high climbers. Carl Turnbull, the uh, batter, he'll step in, wait for the pitch from Ainsworth. One out, one on. Pitch on the way, outside for ball one. That last hit by Wyatt Widener was the second uh, extra base hit for the high climbers. 
Turnbow steps back in as a 1-0 count. One out and one on. White Wagner at second base. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss by Turnbow. One and one is the count. 3-2 ball game. Aberdeen with the one run lead. There's a pitch on the way. That's going to come in and hit Turnbow on the thigh, and that'll put runners at first and second for the high climbers. Okay, now up is your uh, pitcher, number 30, Austin Williams. Um, he is 0 for 2, flew out to center field uh, back in the uh, fourth. So Turnbow's at first base after being hit by a pitch. Wagner's at second after the double. And here's Austin Williams stepping in, waiting for the first pitch to him with one out. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. That is headed out there to right field. Bruner under it, up against the fence. That's out of here. Into the bullpen and a two-run or three-run home run by Austin Williams. Well, he sure helps his cause. He sure does. Here's Wagner coming and touching home. Here's Turnbow touching home. And the man who did it all, Austin Williams. And that gives the high climbers a 5-3 to three win, a lead. And the bases are emptied with one out. Here is Matt Carlton. And Matt... Um, has scored once. He is 0 for 1. Uh, had a double RBI back in the first. Scored. Um, so he the first is, run. <laughs> he's 1 for 1. I apologize. He's 1 for 1. Has a double. And was hit by a batsman. And scored in the uh, fourth inning. Sorry about that. He swung and he missed at the first pitch. He is also 0 and 1. Here's next pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball. That's going to hook foul out of play. So, oh, and two to Matt Carlton. One out, three in for the high climbers here. Brady Rhodes on deck. Matt Carlton is the batter for the high climbers, leading a five to three. Bottom of the fifth pitch on the way. That's going to be high for ball one, one and two. I wonder if that's the first home run for the uh, high climbers this year. As far as I'm aware of, yes. But then we're not uh, at every game. Here's a pitch on the way. That's going to be low for ball two. So two and two to Matt Carlton. Yeah, you're correct on that. But we're not here all the time. There's only one broadcast crew, and it can't be everywhere all the time. So two two to Matt Carlton. One out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball. That's going to go uh, towards the dugout in third base line. The count remains two and two. Should also point out that we only have one broadcast system. Let me take that back. Working broadcast system. There's mm -hmm. another one that I don't use anymore. Yeah, we wish we could broadcast both games that yeah, are going no. on today. Uh, but just can't. Yeah, I don't have the crew either. Don't have the equipment or the crew to do both games today. So Carlton back in the batter's box. So waiting for the 2-2. Uh, He'll smack one into left field. Ramos under it for the out there, and that'll be two away for the high climbers. Brings up Brady Rose. Yeah, and Brady has flown out both times to the uh, first baseman, so he's 0 for 2. He plays that first place uh, position really well, too. You know, since I've been calling games, I, you know, Brady's been first base or designated hitter. I don't think he plays anywhere else. And I think he did a little pitching. In one he game. has yeah. done a little bit of pitching. You're correct. Takes uh, ball one. So two out, three in. Nobody on for the high climbers here. Five, three, the score. Pitch on the way. It's outside for ball two. Rose will step back in. Waiting for the 2-0. That one. Low. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. A little low. Kind of bounce <laughs> around there. 
Ensich couldn't quite keep it in his glove, but nobody's on, so no damage done. It's the three balls and no strikes to Rhodes. As Aiden says, turf ball? Turf ball. Well, I don't know if that was a turf ball per se, close. but it's pretty close. Here's the 3-0 to uh, Rhodes, and that'll put uh, Brady over on first base with uh, two out, three in. And now up is your catcher, uh, number two, Jax Ward. The Jax is 0 for 2. So Ward will step in. Rhodes over at first base. He takes his lead. Pitch on the way, swing, and that one's going to be uh, foul ball. Brad Evelyn on deck yep. for the High Farmers. Again, Rhodes at first base. Two out, three in. 5-3 is the score. Shelton with the lead and at bat. There's Jax Ward with an 0-1. Pitch on the way. That's out. Oh, it hit the outside corner for strike two. Called just right there at the knees on the outside. That's a deceptive spot. Yeah, it's hard for us to see for our angle, especially my angle. Yeah, that's why you got to rely on the guy in the, the umpire. Pitch on the way. That's going to be a foul tip. And the count remains. Oh, that's actually one ball. And two strikes to Jax Ward. Ward will step back in. Angsworth gets the go sign from the home plate uh, ump. Pitch on the way in a uh, line, well, <laughs> not a line drive, but a bouncer over to third base. And Fretz will glove it, throw it over to first base to Baker, and that'll end the inning. But the damage was done as the uh, high climbers take the lead. Five to three. We'll head to the six. This is Mesa Web TV powered by HCC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. And we head to the sixth inning to play, five to three, the score. High Climbers take uh, back the lead. The Bobcats coming to bat. Yeah, the High Climbers uh, had three runs on two hits, left one on base, and uh, Austin Williams, of course, is helping his cause, uh, going here into the top of the six by uh, hitting a three-run home run back in the bottom of the fifth. And now up is... Uh, Number 12, so we've got a... That'll be Mason Hill by my sheet, Jerry. Okay. I have no statistics on okay. him. Okay, so Mason Hill, and he'll be... Um, let's see what happens here. He's batting for uh, Baylor Ainsworth, who is the pitcher. We'll see what happens here. Pitch on the way, check swing, takes strike one. And he will foul the next pitch off. That's strike two. You start throwing in different batters when you're trying to keep these pitchers guessing here in the middle, late in the game, actually. Here's the 0-2 swing and a miss, and Hill goes down swinging for out number one. And now up is number 22, uh, the third baseman, uh, Chad Fretz, and he is 0-2. Uh, flown out to 
uh, left field and to center field. Here's the first pitch to Fretz. It's low for ball one. Next pitch on the way, just a bit low for ball two. So two and oh to Fretz. Pitch on the way and a fly ball. That is out there. Jaycott backing up and grabbing that. And that's out number two. And now up is Mylon Bruner, the uh, left fielder, number 17. And he is one for two, uh, scored back in the uh, uh, fifth inning, uh, had a single. So two away for the Bobcats here. Top of the sixth inning, trailing the five to three and a swing and a miss by Bruner. Next pitch in there for ball one. One and one. Bruner steps back in. Waits for the 1-1 one, one from Williams. Strike on the inside corner for one and two. Here's the 1-2 from Williams. Outside for ball two, so two and two. Looks like Austin Williams has settled down again after the last inning, which he gave up for uh, hits. Doing much better. Timeout has been called, and Bruner will step back in. That was a short timeout. So two balls, two strikes, two out, nobody on. Pitch on the way, inside, and that's ball three. So count goes full to Bruner. Right, he's going to foul that one off, so the count remains three and two. So three balls, two strikes to Mylon Bruner. Two out, nobody on. Five, three ball game. Top of the sixth, Pipch on the way. Strike three called. And that'll do it for the... Uh, Bobcats here in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the frame. Still 5-3. Shelton. Hi, folks. Dietrich Allen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. And we have a new pitcher for the uh, Bobcats as Baker. We'll take to the mound, and Ainsworth is heading to first. Let's see what I got on the Baker. Do I have anything on Baker? No, I don't have anything on Baker for pitching. So. Well, Austin Williams had a very good uh, last uh, inning. He uh, got the side out, uh, three hitters out, had two strikeouts, settling down again. So Baker in to try and... Uh, Close it out here for, well, I guess it's not really closing it out. Trying to shut down the high climbers is uh, Brad Eveland will lead things off for Shelton. Yeah, and Brad is one for two. Had a single uh, in the last inning. So, Eveland waiting for the first pitch from Baker. Swings and he'll hit a Fly ball into center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit as Evelyn is on first base after one pitch. Yeah, and that's his second uh, single of the ball game. And now up is number 14. 
That is uh, Daniel Crossett. And what do we have on Daniel? Daniel, uh, well, he only pitched in the last game, so I don't have any hitting statistics on the other okay. But one on and nobody out for the high climbers here. Five at three. Bottom of the sixth inning is our score. Brad Evelyn over at uh, first base. Baker's going to throw to first. Evelyn just took a couple steps back to the bag. I was impressed with Daniel Crossan in the last game I saw here. Uh, he pitched real well. Uh, about three innings, very effective. Crossing, waiting for the first pitch. Shows bunt, bunts one up in the air, drops into the turf, and throw to first. It's a little off, tilt him off the bag, and crossing is safe to first. Heading to a third, actually, is going to be uh, Eveland. So the high climbers have runners at first and third with nobody out, and here is Colton Fisk. And... Um, Colton is uh, 0 for 2, uh, struck out back in the uh, uh, fifth. So nobody out, and runners at uh, first and third. Fisk waiting for the first pitch to him from Baker. The lefty gets the sign and steps off. Baker into his windup. Here's the pitch on the way. Run it goes. Throw to second. Nope. No throw to second. Is cross and makes it away. He makes his way over there, standing up. So two runners in scoring position uh, for the uh, high climbers with Crossan at uh, second and Evelyn at third. Nobody out. That pitch, by the way, was a ball. And the high climbers are trying to get a couple more insurance ones. Yep. Exactly. Pitch on the way. Swing, and that one's fouled over towards Jerry. Nice play, Jerry. All right, got it. One and one the count. We joke. So I try to keep him uh, awake over there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's in a, in a coma, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so one ball, one strike. <coughs> Fisk with runners at second and third. Pitch on the way. Bunt, and that's going to be foul. Just rolled foul. Well, you got to be awake with balls coming from almost every direction sometimes. Jerry. Yeah, yeah. So one ball, two strikes to Colton Fisk. Nobody out. Daniel Crossan at second base. Brad Eveland at third for the high climbers. 1-2 the count to Fisk. Crossing is a big lead over there. Second there is a pass ball. Here comes uh, Evelyn leaving down, and he beat out the throw. That's going to be one insurance run. Crossing heads over to third. Good heads up play by Brad Evelyn on that uh, pass ball, or wild pitch, I mean. So one in here. One on, nobody out. Six three is the score, and the count to Fisk is uh, full at three and two. Here's the kick and the pitch from Baker. That one's again gonna go back to the backstop, and Cross is gonna slide in and score, making it seven to three. That should send Fisk over to first base, shouldn't it, Jerry? That was the fourth ball. Yep, it does. Yeah, so two in, nobody out, and Colton Fisk is in to first base for the high climbers, and here's Wyatt Wagner. Yeah, Wyatt Wagner, the shortstop, um, is uh, two for three, has a single and a double, has scored twice. Seven three is the score. Pitch on the way, another uh, bunt attempt, and that's going to go foul, actually, and strike one. A little bit of wind here rattling at the tent and sending some sprinkles onto everybody. <laughs> but the sun's come out. If it wasn't for the wind, it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. 
Here's the 0-1 to uh, Wagner. Colton Fisk at first base, nobody out, and two runs are in. Pitch on the way, that's a little bit off for ball one. I can handle the low 50s if there's no wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you're gonna have to, Jerry. <laughs> he didn't bring the heater. So one ball, one strike to Wyatt Wagner. Throw to first. Fisk dives back safely. Nobody out. Two runs have come across home plate for the high climbers here. They lead seven to three. Bottom of the sixth inning. Baker to throws to the plate and Wagner showed bunt, pulled it back. It's ball two. So Jerry, the official stat line here is five errors on the Bobcats. I don't know, we were a little more positive than that, but Yeah, I am. Yeah. That's the official stat line. Pitch on the way, another wild pitch. So uh, Fisk is going to head to second, turn the corner there. Well, I know two of those uh, we gave singles to that right. were probably errors. Boy, the wind is really tough. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> there you go. If the sun would just come around the trees and warm us up, it would be all right. So three balls and one strike to Wagner, runner at second base now, and that's Fisk. Nobody out to two in. Pitch on the way. That's going to be a walk. So runners now into first and second for the high climbers. That'll bring up uh, Carl Turner. So much for my dry scorebook. <laughs> well, and now up is number 22, Carl Turnbull. Uh, Carl is uh, 0 for 2, uh, scored uh, back in the fifth, was hit by the pitcher. Zip up my sweater here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So runners at uh, first and second. Turnbow is kind of, I don't know, did he get hit by that ball or just avoided enough as he showed bunt? Yeah, the scoreboard is went out for a little bit there. Oh, well, Let's see what happens. happens there every once in a while. Okay, now I got it. You're going to call it a strike? Okay, that was a strike. Okay, I'm going to call that a strike. So. No balls and one strike to Carl Turnbow. Fisk is second, Wagner at first. Pitch on the way, shows bunt, and that one's going to go foul. I'm saying that's going to be uh, strike two. Oh, and uh, Fisk made his way to third base, and... I think they're going to ruin him, ruin him to go back. back yeah, because Wagner also went to second. And that's what they're going to talk about here. Because that was a uh, foul ball, uh, essentially. Uh, that's what I thought, yeah. yeah. Well, No, they rolled him safe. Okay. okay, well. All right. So much for the no foul ball. Well, it's still a strike. So two runners in scoring position for the high climbers. Get everything updated here. Pitch on the way in a ground ball. It's going to go foul for Turnbow. Some good base running by the high climbers. So no balls, two strikes to Turnbow. Wagner is at second. Fisk is at third. Nobody out. Two runs are in for the high climbers here in the, the uh, sixth inning. Here's the pitch. And a ground ball that just goes foul up the third baseline. Turnbow is battling here, Jerry. He's been behind his entire at bat in the count. And, and the still. key thing is there's no outs. Yeah, there's no outs. Oh. There's next pitch on the way. That's going to be ball one. So one ball, two strikes to Turnbow. And Turnbull keeps battling. He'll step back in, wait for the next pitch from Baker.
Here's the kick in the throw. Fastball, swing and a miss, and there's out number one for the high climbers. And that will bring up who? Austin Williams. Yeah, Austin Williams. And Austin, of course, is one for three, helped out his cause with a three-run homer uh, back in the fifth. So one away, pitch on the way. That's going to be ball one. So one ball and no strike. Then you got Wagner at second, Fisk at third. Two runs are already in here, one out for the high climbers. Pitch on the way. That's strike one, call. So one and one. On deck is uh, Matt Carlton. Here's a one one. That one made Williams duck. <laughs> Had to duck to get out of the way there. Well, that, he ducked on the earlier ball, but uh, I think he was just kind of making sure it was a ball. And that one, it was getting out of the way. So two balls and one strike to Williams. Pitch on the way and a fly ball. That's headed to right field, shallow right field. Getting under on the run out there is Ramos. He'll grab it for out number two, and the runners hold. Yeah. Colton thought about it, but it was just too shallow. So two down for the uh, high climbers, and uh, here is uh, Matt Carlton. Yeah, Carlton is uh, one for two, had a double back in the first, uh, scored in the uh, fourth, flew out in uh, left fielder back in the fifth. There's first pitch to Carlton, it's outside ball one. Two down and two on, two in for the high climbers here in the bottom of the sixth inning. They're leading seven to three. Pitch on the way, outside corner, strike one. Just right there at the shoulders, Jerry. Yeah. So uh, one and one to Carlton. Big strike zone. It's a big guy. <laughs> yeah. Pitch on the way, swing, and that one's gonna be fouled over the clubhouse for a strike two. So one ball, two strikes. Are we in the stadium? We're in the High Climber Stadium. The wind keeps swirling around in weird ways. Yeah. So here's the one, two, to Carlton. Two out, two on. Pitch on the way, and there's a fly ball center field. That might drop in. It does. There's one run to score. That's a Fisk. Coming around is going to be <laughs> Wagner, and that uh, High Climbers had two more. Two run single. Yep. And here's Brady Rose. Yeah, Brady Rhodes is uh, 0 for 2, had a walk in the fifth inning. I forgot to tell you, it's 9 to 3 now. If you didn't notice. Shelton 9, uh, Aberdeen 3, Brady Rhodes at bat. Matt Carlton at first, pay, uh, first base. Walker with the pitch, you know, step off. Now that's gonna be a balk, and so uh, Carlton's gonna head down to second base. That it was, you know, I was thinking that there's the, almost the textbook. I thought it was a balk, I don't know. It was. It was, well, they're talking about it. Field umpire saying, okay, yeah, it is. So Carlton is at second base now for the high climbers. Two out, four runs are in for Shelton in this inning. Brady Rhodes the batter. Aiden Baker on the mound for the uh, Bobcats. Here's the pitch on the way to Rhodes outside for ball one. Walker steps off again, gets Carlton back to the bag at second base. 
Carlton takes a big lead out there, Jerry. Yeah, the second baseman for the Bobcats is doing everything he can to see if we they can nail him there at the second. But yeah, here's the pitch to the plate to Rhodes. He'll swing and he'll hit a fly ball. That's going to drop in to right field. Carlton around third, heading into score. Rhodes heading for second. Going to slide in there. And a stand-up double. Well, not a stand-up double, well, but a double, double. An RBI double, and that makes it to 10 to 3. So he uh, scores Matt Carlton on that. And now up is uh, Jax Ward. And Jax is the ninth hitter uh, for the high climbers here in this inning. So they batted around. So two down. And we're yeah. going to have a courtesy runner out there for uh, Brady. Brady Rhodes. And that's going to be, I believe it's, uh, it's, it's uh, Wyatt Defoe, number 12. Yeah, Wyatt. Wyatt comes up with two two jersey numbers some for some reason, but he's number twelve today. So he's going to be on the second base. Two out, five in for the high climbers, leading a ten to three. Pitch on the way to Ward. Hit that outside corner for strike one. Steps back into the box. Depot over there at the second base. Pitch on the way. Outside corner again for strike two this time. Just hitting that outside corner, Jerry. From our angle, it looks like it's way outside, but it is not. It's right there on the spot. Yeah, the high climbers have had five runs in this inning. Here's the 0 2 to Ward, pitch on the way, that one's a bit high for ball one. So one ball, two strikes to Jax Ward. Five runs in, two out, one on. Wyatt Poe over at second base for the high climbers. There's a pitch on the way, swing, and that one's fouled over the, <laughs> over the clubhouse. I think there's a JV softball game going on over there the softball field, mm. I believe. I could be wrong. Maybe not. I think it's still the, uh, the varsity game. So one ball, two strikes, two out, one on, five in for the high climbers. Here's the pitch on the way. Swing, actually, that's going to be called strike three, and that'll do it for the high climbers in the inning. But the damage was done. They lead 10-3. to three. We head to the seventh. This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with the safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. Mason County is a very special place. When you're looking for sound real estate advice, pick the team that has called Mason County home for five generations. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate is always thrilled to help you buy or sell real estate in our area. Whether it is Hood Canal, Harstein Island, Matlock, Tahuya, South Puget Sound, or Shelton, the Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has the experience you can trust. Remember, when it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. So we head to the top of the seventh inning, 10-3. Uh, Shelton with the lead, Aberdeen coming up to bat. We have a new pitcher, it's Daniel Crossan. And uh, <clears throat> the high climbers had five runs on three hits, left one on, and I have uh, one air on uh, Aberdeen that inning. Uh, and leading off for Aberdeen will be number 24, the second baseman, Ethan LaRock, and Ethan, is uh, one for one, uh, scored uh, back in the uh, fifth inning uh, on a single, had a walk in the second. So he's one for one based on his last single. 
All right, so crossing the new pitcher for the high climbers. Williams is now over there at second base. Uh, I don't see any other. Oh, I uh, see Depose at first. It's the other change here. And I think the outfield is the same. I could be wrong. Let's take a look here. Evelyn Fisk and Joel Turnbow is out in uh, right field. That's the other change. If you needed to, uh, needed to know that. The wind starts kicking up a little bit here. First pitch to LaRock is a strike. Boy, the wind, man. Gee. I don't know where you're going, Jerry. I'm, I'm just out of behind you. <laughs> I don't know. Pluck, pluck, a, pluck the wind, right? I don't know if that's much of a wind block. <laughs> Next pitch is in there for ball one. One ball, one strike to LaRock. <laughs> Got to add some humor here. Yeah. Jerry's dancing around behind me for some reason. Pitch on the way, <laughs> swing, and a miss by LaRock. I'm trying to stay too. warm. Well, yeah, you know what? So am I. And <laughs> put on your other uh, layer there, Jerry. If you I know to. it. I know it. Of course, that's going to be hard to get it over your head with your headset on. Here is a 1-2 to LaRock. Strike three called. And one out. Cross and like that pitch. He's pretty, ha he's pretty hopping happy out there. So one and, away. Yeah, and now up is uh, Bubba Jones, uh, the uh, center fielder, uh, the leadoff hitter. And uh, he's had a pretty good night. Uh, he's uh, two for three. And he swung and hit the first pitch off the uh, end of the bat there and over the, the backstop for strike one. Here's the next pitch on the way. That's uh, going to be ball one. Boy, that wind is just going a little crazy here. Might want to have to grab hold of that fence. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Something, man. Oh, my. Sun's out, though. That's a good thing. Wind's a blowing. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss by Jones. He got a piece of it, but a strike two. I've been impressed with Daniel across him. Yeah. Coming in, let's see. His last outing was Friday. Uh, he pitched four innings, three earned runs, five hits, two walks, and two strikeouts. Well, I know in the game we saw here, he pitched, I think, three innings and did well. Yeah. Changed the, the uh, direction of that game, actually. 2-2 two, two is the count now. Pitch on the way, swing, and a miss. And that will be out number two for the Bobcats here. Yeah, seventh. registered two strikeouts so far. And now up is uh, number 18, your left fielder. Trevin Ramos, and uh, Trevin is a one for three, had a RBI and a single back in the fifth. Oh, he hits one up the first base line that does just go foul for strike one. Got a nice little smack on that though. You'd hear the, the wood crack a little bit, even without the mic on, turn the mic off with the wind. So here's the 0-1 to Ramos. Pitch on the way, fastball. That one is going to be fouled off for strike two. So and two to Ramos. Two out. Nobody on for the Bobcats, trailing 10 to three. On deck, should Ramos reach, is Walker. Here's the pitch. That's going to be low, and that's going to be a turf ball, Jerry. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. I'll have to get a official definition of that term okay. from Aiden the next time. We see <laughs> pitch right. on the way. That's going to hit Ramos, and that will uh, give the Bobcats a runner at first base, and here's Walker. Give him life. Okay, number 99 up now. The first, well, now he's the pitcher. pitcher. Yeah, he's pitching. And Aiden uh, Baker, and Aiden is um, 0 for 3. Two out, one on for the Bobcats. Crossing on the mound for the high climbers. Pitch on the way, that's gonna be high for ball one. So one ball, no strikes to uh, Walker, or Baker, excuse me. Ramos takes a lead at first. Here's the pitch to the plate. Outside corner, strike one. One and one. Baker steps back in. Waits for the one-one from Crossan. 
Titch on the way, and that's a fly ball that's going to go out of play. One ball, two strikes to Baker. Again, Ramos at first base, two out for the uh, Bobcats here. Top of the seventh inning, trailing 10 to three. Here's the pitch on the way. Inside for ball two, it's a two and two to count. Here comes the wind again. I think that wind is helping anybody here, Jerry? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think it's helped uh, you know, we've had some long fly balls. Yeah, it's it's helped, definitely. Depending right. on when the wind, which direction it's been coming from, right. <laughs> it's been coming from different directions. So the last pitch did not count because it, uh, Baker had stepped out. So 2-2 on the way. That one's fouled off. That's going to count remains. Two balls and two strikes. Two out, one on. Trevin uh, Ramos. At first, he takes a lead there. The batter, the batter is Baker. He's got two-two count. Pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball, center field. Fisk out there. He's going to get under it, to kind of over in left field. Grabs it, and that'll do it for the ball game. As the high climbers take care of the Bobcats, ten to three. We'll take a timeout. Come back. It's Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-96. 70 extension 400 an important safety reminder from mason pud3 please never touch a downed power line if a power line falls on your vehicle stay inside and call 911 tell others to stay back wait for emergency personnel never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line always stay at least 100 feet away never use an object to move a downed wire don't remove trees or limbs near a down line electricity travels through ground trees branches and more it's not safe if you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Mason County is a very special place. When you're looking for sound real estate advice, pick the team that has called Mason County home for five generations. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate is always thrilled to help you buy or sell real estate in our area. Whether it is Hood Canal, Harstein Island, Matlock, Tahuya, South Puget Sound, or Shelton, the Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has the experience you can trust. Remember, when it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Well, it's a final here in, uh, well, the High Climber Field. The uh, Shelton High Climbers knock off the Bobcats from Aberdeen by a score of 10 to uh, a 3, excuse me. And, Jerry, you've got some uh, statistics for us real quick. I do. Uh, Aberdeen had uh, three runs on seven hits. According to the one thing, they had five errors. I yeah. I put him down for three. Yeah. I was go with your three, Jerry. I like three. Okay, thanks. Uh, Bubba uh, Jones had uh, two singles. Uh, Trevin uh, Ramos had uh, a single. Um, Hunter Eisel had a single. Uh, Charlie Ansic had a single. Um, Mylon Bruner uh, also had a single. And Ethan LaRock had a single, so they had uh, three runs on seven hits. Uh, for the high climbers, they had ten runs, nine hits. Uh, Wyatt Wagner had a single and a double. Um, 
Austin Williams had a three-run home run. Uh, Matt Carlton had a single and a double. Uh, Brady Rhodes had a single. Oh, excuse me, a double, a double. Uh, he slid in there at second base. Uh, Jax Ward had a single. Um, Brad Evelyn was two for three, two singles. So a total of nine runs. And I had them down for maybe one error. One or, well, they, what did they officially have? no errors. Okay, on the no high errors. Card. Okay, Williams, I was correct. Williams credited with three RBIs, Carlton three RBIs, Rhodes with an RBI. Yeah, that pretty much. Uh, You're correct. There yeah. was no errors by yeah. the. Yeah. Okay. And uh, did they, how many hits did they credit? Uh, credit was eight hits. They had eight yeah. hits. Yeah. Okay, I had nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, wanted to get to pitching really quickly. Williams uh, went. Uh, well, he actually went. What well, says? No, okay, six innings, three runs, three earned runs on seven hits, uh, one walk, and eight strikeouts. Crossing uh, one inning, two strikeouts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice relief. Yeah. Nice relief. Bye. Can't give him a save because of the right, uh, but but Williams got three, the but. the win, so big day for uh, Austin Williams. Big win for yeah. him. So next up for the high climbers, they head to Vancouver Friday to play River Ridge in the Heritage High School tournament. Shelton will also be playing on Saturday. Couldn't find out who they could be playing. There's like five teams, six, seven teams involved in that tournament, so I don't know who they'll be playing. Bobcats travel to Hanford on Monday for a oh. double header. Wow. But spring break, so. You That's know. right. Uh, our next broadcast is tomorrow when the North Mason baseball team hosts Olympic. First pitch weather permitting is 415. I guess that'll do it from us from a windy high climber field. My thanks to Terry Apple for his help with this broadcast. My pleasure. Final again, Shelton 10, Aberdeen 3. We'll talk to you tomorrow from, uh, from Belfair. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, was made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason County Public Health and Human Services Prevention Education Partners Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, helping provide prescription drug kickback boxes in Mason County and providing lockable bags for your prescription drugs, cannabis, and vape products. Mason County PUD 3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Mason County PUD number 1, Washington State's first public utility district, providing safe, reliable, and valued utility services since 1934. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Thanks for watching Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.